Time to get you home, girl. Agent 4505 to long-term delivery. Long-term delivery, what's your status, 4505? Departing for mission. Parcel destined for Clementine Abbott. Address is a P.O. Box in Ruby. Proceed, 4505. Parcel appears to be a Christmas present. Isn't Christmas just the best? Copy. Over and out. Long-term delivery. I've never seen one of you in person before. I'm looking for the owner of P.O. Box 1016. Last name Abbott, first name... Clementine. How did you know? I know my post office boxes. Very good. What can you tell me about her? Well, she hasn't checked her box in years. Or paid for it. Technically, it's vacant. But since nobody rents P.O. Boxes anymore, there hasn't been an owner of 1016 since Ms. Abbott. I'm trying to locate Ms. Abbott in connection with a long-term delivery. And it is a long one. Ten years. Can I see the parcel? That would be a violation of protocol. Please. Sweet Mary and Joseph. You know each other. It was my third month in the service. The parcel came. We put notes in the box. Nothing. I tried to wave her down, but Ms. Abbott was one of those people always in such a rush. I don't know who is in such a rush they can't be bothered to pick up their own parcel. Nobody picks up their mail anymore. Six weeks passed, so Theodore he was the postmaster at the time. He sent it off somewhere. Postmaster? A sender entrusted us with this parcel in an effort to make a connection with a fellow human being. In this case, a Christmas gift for his mother. Over a decade in the making. I will not rest until she receives it. There was one night. I was driving my truck home and I stopped off at a diner for a cup of coffee and a piece of chocolate cake. Clementine Abbott was my waitress. It felt inappropriate to mention it after all those years and, and outside of my jurisdiction. So I just paid the bill and went home. I never saw her again. I'm gonna need to know the name of that diner. A Christmas present for Mom! But you're the ticket to her heart. To make her understand you. To prove you understand her. Even though you don't. Neither does she. But isn't that love? Hello? Hello? Is this diner closed? Yeah. For how long? A few years now. Were you the manager? Yeah. What are you still doing here? 
I don't know. I'm you looking for... for... I'm looking want... for... You go first. Do you want some coffee? No. Oh. But thank you. That's very kind of you to offer. I'm looking for a woman who used to work here, Clementine Abbott. Oh, I had to lay everyone off. You know where I can find her? Maybe you have an address on file. Oh, for paychecks. Yeah, probably. United States Postal Service, Department of Long-Term Delivery. My parcel is a Christmas present withheld from Miss Abbott for over 10 years, so you can understand my urgency. Last Christmas, I put my cat in a Santa hat. The address. Tell her Jesse said hi. No. Hey. I, for one, can't wait to see the look on Mommy's face after all this time. You're the way to say I'm sorry. To say I love you because your mom, mama, is the only one I've got. And whatever this little span is, it's got to end. Because you can't. Die angry. You can't die angry. You can't die angry tonight. Who's there? United States Postal Service, Department of Long-Term Delivery. I have a very special package for you, Miss Abbott. Miss Abbott, she don't live here no more. What? You think I'm lying? Esther, a post office man is here looking for that woman. Ask me, ask me. Remember the mail, the pieces of mail. The letters, the, the letters, pieces the of letters. Mail. So I says to the postman, stop bringing a mail here. And he says, I have to deliver it here because this is the address. And I says, excuse me, but she don't live here no more. And he says, rules are rules. What, are you kidding me? I can't give you this crap in my house. Found him, found him. These are hers. These are all addressed to this house. That's right. She doesn't live here. No, but you can take them to her. That's carrier division. I'm only authorized to deliver a long-term parcel. But you're already here, and you're already holding them, and you're going to see her, and you work for the post office. It's a no-brainer. But I still don't know where she lives. Wait, wait, Esme, remember what she said? Oh, so when she first moved out, she keeps coming by to get her mail. And I says, excuse me, but you don't live here no more. You can't keep coming by whenever you want. What are people going to think with this lady coming by every week that we're lesbians or some bullshit? Uh-uh. No, I don't think so. But but the house. The barn. Ah, uh, right, the barn, the barn, the barn. The, the barn, barn, the barn at the top of the hill. The barn at the top of the hill. She says she's living in a barn at the top of the hill. What hill? The hill, the mountain. Look outside, you'll see. Go find her and bring her the letters. I'm not authorized. I'm not authorized. You believe this shit. Bring him with Jimmy Carter we got standing here. Do nothing, Carter. Do nothing, Carter. Can't wait for him to fucking die. Yeah. The barn on the top of the hill. The barn on the top of the hill. The barn, the barn, the barn, the barn, the barn on the top of the hill.
Can I help you? Are you Clementine Abbott? Maybe. United States Postal Service Department of Long-Term Delivery. I have a parcel for Clementine Abbott I that was sent in. This is 10 years old. You're not curious about what's inside? Well, why'd you never pick it up? You mad at your son? I don't have a son. A daughter. Didn't want it then, don't want it now. You don't even know who it's from. I don't care. I'm not leaving until you open this box. <laughs> Is that so? A person sent this to you. I don't care. I do. Why? Because you were supposed to get this box a decade ago, and you never picked it up. This was someone's attempt to make you smile and show that they love you, and all you want to do is spit in their face. I'd like to spit in your face. I'll take those, though. I'm expecting some money. Maybe there's money in the box. Nobody sends money in a box. Okay, it's time for you to get the fuck out of here. Just open the box! No! Come on! I said no! Please! Give me the goddamn box. What is it? It's my mother. <laughs> I completely forgot. <laughs> Say hi, Mom. She was never very polite. <laughs> yeah, I changed my mind. I'll keep it. What do I owe you? Uh, my, my services are courtesy of the United States of America. Mm, great country. But who sent that? I did. Bad luck to travel with the dead. Jesse says, hey. Long-term delivery to 4505. Go for 4505. What's your status? Connection restored, returning to base. Did she like the present? I said connection restored. 